Storms Check channel here, and today I'm doing a video about the iPhone 13. So Apple has announced the iPhone 13. Uh, Apple has announced four new iPhones this year, same as last year. You guys got the iPhone 13 Mini, iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Pro, and iPhone 13 Pro Max. So four new iPhones this year. Um, if you guys want to check out the Apple event, I will try to find a link to put it in the description box if you guys haven't checked out the Apple event, you guys can check it out. Um, so in this video guys, I am going to be talking about the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max because if I talk about all four iPhones, this video could be forever. So, uh, before I get further into the video guys, a word, a word of warning guys, this will be a long video, so do keep that in mind. Uh, so if you guys watched the whole video, thank you guys very much. I really appreciate that. If you guys watched the whole thing, it would really help me. It would really help me out a lot. Uh, so um, yeah. So this is the iPhone 13 Pro. So yeah. Um, so um, so yeah. So that is a pretty cool uh, animation there. So you can see what it does. It pretty cool there. So this is the iPhone 13 Pro. I guess what they're showing here. So on the show you guys where the buttons are and stuff on the right side. You guys have a uh, power button right here. Bam keys right here. Your uh, your uh, alert switch up here. SIM card right there. And I'm not sure what the hell this is, but it's there. iPhone 13 Pro. Oh, so Pro. All right. So here we are. I don't know what's going on here, but it's pretty fucking cool. Says a dramatically more powerful camera system. It displays so responsive every interaction feels new again. The world's fastest smartphone chip, exceptional, exceptional durability, and a huge leap in battery life. Let's pray. So you guys can pre-order the iPhone right here. It says a pre-order starting 5 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time on September 17th. Available starting October 20th, I mean, starting September 24th. So the iPhone will be out next week. For all the carriers out there, postpaid and prepaid. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a long weekend for my ass this week. That weekend when I do the iPhone videos, they'll be out every the weekend. Uh, I'm not going to do them all on my, I'm not going to do them all on one day, probably not. So the iPhone gets released next Friday, September 24th. But then that probably probably not gonna be released. I'm, I probably will have a few videos. I might have a couple of uh, videos released on that date. But all the iPhone videos that I do will be done over the weekend, over that weekend. So uh, yeah, it says here pre-order uh, pre-order starting 5 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time 9:17, which is Friday. 41.62 a month for 24 months or 9.99 before trade-in. So that's the base model, I guess. So, there's the uh, 13 Pro Max and 13 Pro right there next to each other. So, the Pro Max has a 6.7 inch display. The Pro, the 13 Pro has a 6.1 inch display. So I think the, this is the first time that the iPhone 13 Pro has a big ass screen. This one has big ass screen here, 6.7 inches. That's the biggest screen on ever on, on an iPhone. Uh, I think the 12 Pro Max last year had a 6.1 inch display, I think. So, uh, yeah, so 6.7 inches, that's a big ass display. So, pretty hoary. There you guys do got y'all's not, so, you know, so, yeah. There's the back of the iPhone. Same as same as last year, guys. I mean, same design and everything else as 
last year. So you guys got uh, three cameras in the back along with the camera flash. One of them color. Uh, this is uh, Sierra Blue. Silver. Gold. And Graphite. So I guess you get four colors this year for the iPhone. So Pretty cool. All the uh, carriers will have all the colors available. Um, so. Um, let me do that again because I think that's pretty sweet. So there's the Sierra Blue. Which looks pretty nice. It looks lighter than the blue one that they had last year. The dated blue iPhone last year. And that was like a darkish blue. And this one's like, like a light teal color blue here. You got silver. Kind of, it kind of looks white in my opinion. Kind of looks like white. Then you guys got silver. Kind of looks silver. And this one looks silver. I mean this one's gold. Fuck. This one looks gold, but it kind of looks silver a little bit. Then you got uh, graphite. Looks like a uh, space gray iPhone. Okay. Um. Surgical grade stainless steel, which is nice. Um. It's ceramic shield. Tougher than any smartphone glass, so they're bringing the ceramic shield back. They had that on the iPhone 12 line. They had that on the iPhone 12 line last year. So the ceramic shield makes a comeback here on the iPhone 13. Uh, industry leading IP68 water resistance, so that's not new. That's uh, been our uh, standard since the iPhone 7. To get water resistance on here. Um, our pro camera system gets its biggest upgrade ever with next level hardware that captures so much more in detail. Super intelligent software for new photo and filmmaking techniques and a mind blowingly fast chip that makes it all possible. It will change the way you shoot. Yeah, so we're talking about the camera here. Pretty nice looking flower. Well, macro photography comes to the iPhone. So you get a macro camera on the iPhone for the first time. Uh, macro photography comes to the iPhone. It went with, ugh, with its redesigned lens and powerful autofocus system. The new ultra wide camera can focus at just two centimeters, making it even the smallest detail seem epic. Transform a leaf into abstract art. Capture a caterpillar's fuzz. Magnify a dewdrop. The beauty of tiny awaits. So, pretty cool there. I don't know why this took me back up. I just did that. Alright, here we go. Macro video, anyone? So this is pretty cool. Um, macro stills are just the beginning. You can also shoot macro videos, including slow motion and time lapse. Prepare to be, prepare to be mesmer mesmerized. Bring on the night. iPhone 13 Pro was made for low light. The wide camera adds a wider aperture and our largest sensor yet. And it leverages the Lindar scanner for night mode portraits. Ultra wide gets a wider aperture, a faster sensor, and all new autofocus. And telephoto now has night mode. <clears throat> so that's nice. Why the hell does he keep bringing me back up here? Fuck, man. 
I don't know why it's doing that. The wide camera captures up to two times, two point two times more light for better photos and video. The ultra wide camera captures ninety two percent more light for better photos and videos. Night mode now on every camera, so that's pretty nice. Sharper, more detailed photos and videos in any light. More zoom, boom. It says here the new telephoto camera features a 77mm focal length and 3 times optical zoom. Great for classic port portraiture or shooting clear photos and videos on far away. For closer subjects, try portrait mode where you can dial in the bokeh and experiment with studio quality lighting effects. Three times optical zoom on telephoto for closer close-ups. Six times optical zoom range across the system for more framing for more framing options than ever. Shift the focus up the drama, presenting cinematic mode. Said now iPhone can shoot with shadow depth fulfilled and automatically add elegant focus transitions between subjects. Cinematic mode can also anticipate where a prominent new subject is about to enter the frame and bring them into focus with when they do. For far more creative storytelling you have the option to change focus or adjust the level of bouquet even after capture. We can't wait to see what you do with it. The only smartphone that lets you edit the depth effect after you shoot. Shoot with the wide telephoto and true depth cameras in cinematic mode. Cinematic mode supports W Vision HDR. I don't know why it keeps taking me back up here. Sorry about that, guys. I do not know why it's taking me back up here. That is getting annoying. See how we train your camera to be a cinematographer. So. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. I don't know why they're doing that. Customize your camera to lock in your look. Introducing photographic styles. Hey, so I'm gonna go back up here and read this here. It says Pho photographic styles apply your preferred tone and warmth settings to your photos, but unlike filters, they keep things like skies and skin tones natural. Choose an apple dedicated, choose an, app, choose an apple design preset, vibrant, rich contrast, warm or, cold, or warm or cool, and if you want, fine tone it even further 
Set your style once you get the look you love every time. Our advanced image pipeline renders your custom style in real time. Ten increase the brighter, more vivid colors, decrease the stronger shadows and contrast warmth. Increase to enhance golden undertones, this decrease to bring in more blue undertones. Shoot it, cut it, ship it. All in progress. The first smartphone to provide an end to end pro workflow allowing you to record and edit and progress in their vision. The high color infidelity and low compression of progress let you record, edit, and deliver broadcast ready content on the go. Now you can now you can compete now you can complete a project and progress entirely on your iPhone or easily bring progress videos from your iPhone into Final Cut Pro on your Mac. The excellent same guys. So it's not available yet, I guess. Tons of tech behind every shot. Smart HDR4 optimizes each part of the scene. Harness listening to machine learning power of the neutral engine. Smart HDR4 now makes unique adjustments for multiple people in a scene. Our software and ISP automatically refines contrast, lighting, and Skin tones for each person, so everyone always looks amazing. Deep fusion analyzes each. Deep fusion analyzes every pixel from multiple exposures, from mid to low light shots. Deep fusion kicks in using the neutral engine to perform a pixel by pixel analy and the list of various exposures and fusing the best parts into your final image. It delivers extraordinary detail bringing out even the subsol list textures in your photos. A snapshot of each camera. Telephoto which is this lens right here, right where my mouse is, that's your telephoto lens right here on the top. And so I say 77 millimeter focal, 77 millimeter focal length, three times optical zoom, f 2.8 aperture lens, focus pixel six element lens, optical and stabilization. You also have an ultra wide, ultra wide camera lens as well which is right here where my mouse is that's your all ultra wide lens right here that has 13 millimeter focal length of 1.8 aperture lens faster sensor focus pixel 6 element lens then you got a wide angle camera right here on the bottom that has oops, sorry about that the wide angle camera has a 26mm focal length, 1.9 the pixel thing, I'm not sure what this is, I'm not sure what that is, so, so excuse me on that. I have f1.5 aperture lens, 100% focus pixel, 7 element lens, sensor, shift, optical image stabilization, our three most popular, our three most powerful cameras ever. The True Depth Camera System is a total pro too, with cinematic mode, photo photographic styles, ProRes video recording, Dolby Vision HDR recording, portrait mode, nightmare selfies, smart HDR4, deep fusion, and more. There's your uh, True Depth Camera on the front.
No wonder your solvers look so good. That solver don't look good at all. It's just terrible, in my opinion. A15 Bionic and the True Def Camera also power Face ID, the most secure facial authentication in a smartphone. Now this is the big one, this is the first time, this is the uh, big thing for the iPhone this year, one terabyte of storage, that's fucking insane guys, one terabyte of storage on, on an iPhone. Um, so yeah, one terabyte of storage, that's fucking insane, that's like laptop storage there, pretty much. So one terabyte of storage, plenty for all those photos and videos. Hello ProMotion, meet the 120Hz adaptive refresh display that changes the game. So this is the first time that the iPhone has a 120Hz refresh rate. Uh, Android fans have been doing it for the last couple of years now. iPhone is finally doing it this year on the iPhone 13 series of phones. Uh, I don't know if, if all the iPhone 13s have the uh, 120Hz refresh rate, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, so the new Super Retina XDR display with ProMotion can refresh from 10 to 20 times per second in all kinds of frame rates in between. It intelligently ramps up when you need it, exceptional graphics performance, and ramps down to save power when you don't. It even accelerates and decelerates naturally to match the speed of your finger as you scroll. You have never felt anything like it. I've, iOS 15 is optimized for promotion, so the things you do every day feel phenomenally, 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 phenomenally fluid. Alright, up your game. The display and ability to re refresh up to 120Hz combined with the amazing graphics performance of the new 5 core GPU and a the, the display and ability to refresh up to 120Hz combined with the amazing graphics performance of the new 5 core GPU on A15 Bionic makes the iPhone 13 Pro perfect for power gamers. So you can play any game you want. I don't know what game this is. Too bad you can't get Fortnite on too bad you can't get Fortnite on the iPhone. Too bad you can't get Fortnite on there. Um so that's like Fortnite would look great on this screen. It would look great on it. Can't play Fortnite on the iPhone anymore. 25% brighter outdoors, so the display is brighter, so you can have it used outside, and you, you can see the display better outside. So that's very nice. So for content that looks even more vivid in sunlight, custom OLED technology pushes the display incredibly resolution and color right to the edge. 500 nits peak brightness for your HDR photos and videos. Even more display area thanks to a smaller true depth camera system. Incredibly color fidelity makes all your content look true to life. Striking contrast and resolution creates true whites, bright whites, sharp detail, and crisp text. See why your battery will love permission. Pure Pro Power. A15 Bionic is the world's fastest smartphone chip. They say that every year, guys. All new 5 core GPU delivers up to 50%. Faster graphics performance than any other smartphone chip. 
new CPU performance and efficiency cores, power through complex tasks, and preserve battery life. Super fast natural, super fast neutral engine performs up to one performs up to 15.8 trillion operations per second, enabling Cinematic mode, smart HDR4, and more. Advanced ISP. Take noise reduction and turn mapping to the next level. Secure enclave. Protect personal information like your face ID, data, contacts, and more, which is very nice. On device processing. Keeps things you like. Keeps things you like, like, yeah. Keeps things like your Siri request and interactions with live text private. See how A15 Bionic is powered by collaboration. iPhone 13 Pro Max has the best battery life ever on an iPhone. We'll see about that. So they claim up to 2.5 more hours of battery life. On iPhone 13 Pro Max, up to 1.5 more hours of battery life on iPhone 13 Pro. Add a MagSafe charger for faster wireless charging, guys. With the buy that separately, okay? So the MagSafe accessories are back. You might be able to use your MagSafe accessories from the iPhone 12 on these and the iPhone 13. You should be able to. We'll see why not. No one does 5G like iPhone. Okay, <clears throat> so this is the second generation of iPhones that include 5G on there. The iPhone 12 last year had 5G, so that's nice. And the iPhone 13 is no different. It says that the world is quickly moving to 5G, streaming, downloading, and everything happens to us. The world is moving. The world is quickly moving to 5G. Streaming, downloading, everything happens so much faster. 5G is even fast enough for state for serious multiplayer gaming, showing the AR photo, AR videos and more. For smart data mode iPhones will downshift automatically to save power when you don't need all that speed. More 5G burns for 5G speed in more places. iOS 15, so you guys can get a feel what iOS 15 looks like. They got Apple TV there, they got um, the weather app and all that, iMessage I think is right here, and they got all different things opened up here, and just right here, in touch, in the moment. iOS 15 lets you keep the conversation going while sharing movies, music, or whatever, whatever or whatever on your screen, right in FaceTime. Stay in the zone. By filtering out any notifications that aren't relevant to the task at hand. An interactive text and images to quickly send email, make calls, get directions, and more. If you guys want to learn more about iOS 15, I will have a link to that if you guys want to learn more about iOS 15. Um, check that out. Privacy is built in. iPhone helps you iPhone helps put you in control of your personal information. For an example, privacy, nutrition, labels help you see how apps use your data. Apps need your permission to track your activity across other companies, apps, or websites. And that's just for starters. You guys want to learn more about Apple and privacy. You guys want to do that. Good design is good for the planet. Our stores, offices, data centers, and operations are already carbon neutral. By 2030, our products and your carbon footprint from using them will be too. This year, we eliminate. We this year we eliminated 
the plastic wrap around the iPhone 13 and 13 Pro Max boxes. 7600 meters. Six, seven, seven, 600 metric tons of plastic. And our established final assembly sites now send zero waste to landfills. So once you guys get the iPhone, you guys won't have a plastic wrapper on it, it'll just have the box around it. So, pretty nice. A phone fill of fun. Stream songs, albums, and created playlists. Catch the shows everyone that is raving about. Discover exciting new games. Keep up the keep up on the news and the stories you love. Find your next favorite workout. Apple services put so much at your fingertips and Apple One bundles them all into a single subscription. So Apple One is a subscription thing here. So that is pretty interesting so that y'all guys can get all that included with one subscription. So it's kinda like Google One, kind of, you know, kinda like that. Multiply the magic. Everything you love about your iPhone gets even better when you use it with a Mac, iPad, and or Apple Watch. It will, it all just works together seamlessly. Enter a call or enter a call on whatever is close at hand. Take a photo on your iPhone and watch it instantly appear on your Mac. And see all your texts all the time on your devices easy. Check it out. See iPhone 13 and 13 Pro and AR. Open this page in Safari on your iPhone or iPad. So pretty sweet. Deck it out. They got AirPods and AirTags, of course, and they also got the MagSafe accessories as well. Um, take the perfect iPhone accessory and make it yours with free engraving only from Apple. Air tag. Attach one of your keys, slip another in your backpack, and easily keep track of them in, in the Find My app. Then you guys got the MagSafe accessories here. They got them right here. Snap on a magnetic case, wallet, or both, and get faster wireless charging. Ways to buy. Save up to $1,000 on the newest iPhone after trading. So, they got three carriers here, obviously. Um, AT&T save up to $1,000. T-Mobile. Basically, T-Mobile, but basically, save up to $700 or more. Verizon, save up to $700. You can trade in your... Uh, Phone, smartphone for credit. Um, with Apple Trade In, you can get credit towards a new iPhone when you trade in an eligible smartphone. It is good for you and the planet. The easiest way to upgrade to the latest iPhone join the iPhone upgrade program to get the latest iPhone every year. Low monthly payments and Apple Care. Still have questions as I see don't you won't find a better place to buy an iPhone. We know about cameras. We know about carriers, payment options and more, and we make it easy to understand. Free delivery and free returns. See check out for delivery dates. Payment pay monthly is every percent APR. You can pay every time when you Choose to check out with Apple Care monthly installments. Get help buying. Have a question, call a specialist or a chat online. Call online personal system. From basic to pro tips, get more out of your new iPhone. Okay. So we're gonna be looking. Uh, we'll be looking at the specs here. So this is comparing the iPhone 13 and 13 Pro Max. Um, 
So they look the same like last year, you know. Um, so they all include, they all have the uh, four colors listed here. They got graphite, gold, silver, and silver blue. They have ceramic shield, front, textured, matted glass, back, and stainless steel edge. Um, these both offerings include four storage options, 128 gigs. 256 gigs, 512 gigs, and 1 terabyte that is new. For the iPhones, it says 1 terabyte. I uh, don't know if that's on all iPhones or not, but the, I don't know size and weight. Uh, iPhone 13 uh, height 5.78 inches, width 2.82 inches, depth 30 inches on the iPhone 13. In the iPhone 13 Pro Max, height 6.33 inches, width 3.7 inches, depth 0.30 inches. The weight of the iPhone 13 is 7.19 ounces. Weight on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, 8.46 ounces. Screen size is 6.1 inch on the iPhone 13 Pro, 6.7 inches on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Super Retina XDR display with ProMotion 6.1 inch diagonal all screen OLED display 2532 by 7 2532 by 1170 pixels at 460 ppi. Um, Super Retina XDR display with ProMotion on the iPhone 13 Pro Max as well 6.7 inch diagonal all screen OLED display. 2778 by 1284 pixel resolution at 458 ppi. Weird as resolutions. Both models include ProMotion technology with adaptive refresh rates up to 120 Hz, HDR, display, true tone, wide color, haptic touch, 2 million to 1 the contrast ratio, 5, 1000 nits of brightness. 1000 nits of brightness, 1200 nits max brightness HDR, fingerprint resistant. Oh, I don't know how to say that. The O word, it's a coding thing. I don't know how to say the O word, so excuse me on that. Support for display of multiple languages and character simultaneously. Splash and water resistance. Rated IP68, maximum depth of 6 meters. For 30 minutes on their IEC standards, A15 Bionic chip, new 6, new six core GPU, new 6 core CPU with 2 performance and 4 efficiency cores, 5 core GPU, 16 core new in neutral engine. Cameras. 12 megapixel camera system, telephoto, wide angle and ultra wide cameras, and picture lenses, telephoto f2.8, wide angle f1.5, ultra wide f1.8, and 120 degree field of view, 3 times optical zoom, 2 times optical, 3 times optical zoom in, 2 times optical, optical zoom out, 6 times optical zoom range. Digital zoom up to 15 times, night mode portraits enabled by Lendai scanner. Um, portrait mode with advanced bokeh and depth control. Portrait lighting with 6FX neutral studio contour stage, stay mono, stage mono, high key mono. Dual optical image stabilization, telephoto and wide angle. Sensor shift, optical image stabilization, wide angle camera, six element lenses, telephoto, and ultra wide, seven element lens, wide angle. True turn flash with slow sync, panorama up to 63 megapixels, sapphire crystal lens cover, 100%, focus pixel, wide angle camera, night mode, deep fusion. My HDR4. Oh shit. 
photographic styles, macro photography, Apple Pro Raw, wide color capture for photos and live photos, lens correction, lens correction, ultra wide, events radar correction, photo geotagging, auto image civilization, burst mode, image formats, captures. Video recording, cinematic mode for recording videos with shadow depth of field, 1080p at 30, HDR, video recording with Dolby Vision up to 4K at 60, 4K video recording at 24, 25, 30, and 60 frames, 1080p video recording at 25, 30, and 60, 720p video recording at 30, ProRes, video recording at 4K up to 30, 1080p at 30. Alright, this is interesting. So, the ProRes um, video recording up to 4K at 30 frames per second. 1080p video at 30 frames per second for 120 gig white. So, that's interesting. Dual optical image civilization for video, telephoto, and wide angle. Sensor shift optical image civilization for video. Wide angle lens, so 3 times optical zoom in, 2 times optical zoom out, 6 times optical zoom range, digital zoom up to 9 times, audio zoom, true tone flash, quick take video, slow motion, slow mode video, support for 1080p at 120 or 240 frames per second, time lapse video, with stabilization, night mode, time lapse, cinematic, Visualization 4K 1080 or 720p continuous autofocus video take 8 megapixel still photos while recording 4K video playback zoom video formats stay a recording true diff camera this is your front facing camera it which is a 12 megapixel which has been like the last uh, couple years now so a 12 megapixel true diff camera f 2.2 amputure lens Portrait mode with a dan bleh. portrait mode with advanced bokeh and depth control. Portrait lighting with six effects: neutral, studio, contour, stage, stage mono, high key mono. They have also have an emoji and me emoji. I'm surprised that's still a thing. Oh, you got night mode, deep fusion, smart HDR four. Photographic styles, Apple Pro Roll, cinematic mode for recording videos with shadow depth of field, 1080p at 30, HDR, video recording with Dolby Vision up to 4K at 60, 4K video recording at 24, 25, 30, and 60 frames per second, 1080p video recording at 25, 30, and 60 frames. ProRes video recording up to 4K at 30 frames per second, 1080p video at 30 frames per second for 128 gigabytes of storage. Slow so mode video support for 1080p at 120. Time lapse video visualization at mode time lapse, cinematic video visualization 4K 1080 or 720p. Quick take video, wide color capture for photos and live photos. Lens correction, retina flies, auto image stabilization, burst mode. So that's all with the front facing camera. So the front camera and the rear camera both have similar features. So that's pretty cool. You have face ID, of course, so that's not new. Enabled by True Deaf Camera for facial recognition. Apple Pay is here, of course. Pay with your iPhone using the face ID and stores within apps and on the web. Send and receive money and messages with Apple Cash. Complete purchases made with Apple Pay on your Mac. Pay for your ride using Express Transit. Apple Card. Credit card created by Apple designed for iPhone. Get unlimited 3% daily cash at Apple and other Get unlimited 3% daily cash at Apple and select merchants. 2% with Apple Pay and 1% everywhere else. Use the wallet app to apply for manage and use Apple cards. You guys will need 
good credit for that. But it's a credit card, so you will need good credit for that. Uh, titanium laser etched physical card, physical credit card for use where Apple Pay is not accepted yet. Share with up to five people, 13 years or older in your family sharing group or to share with up to five people, 13 years or older in your family sharing group to track expenses, managing minute spending and build credit together for days over 18. So if you guys get an Apple card, this can help build your credit, which is good. So do that if you guys are like 18 or whatever, do that to build your credit. Um, but you guys do need good credit to get the Apple card. If you guys have bad credit, you guys, you guys can get the Apple card. So do keep it in mind. All oh, the carriers, uh, they got the major ones here. I don't know why it sprints up here, but whatever. They got AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon up here. And all the prepaid carriers will be getting this one as well. Okay, cellular and wireless. So it gets yeah, it gets five D has all the advantages. I'm not gonna read all this shit, it gets, it's a lot. Uh, all models, five G sub six gigahertz and millimeter wave, gigabit LTE with four by four and my and my Wi Fi six, edit eleven AX, Bluetooth five point ultra wideband chip. For sabbatical awareness, NFC with Freedom Ride Express cards with power reserve location, built in GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, Digital Compass, Wi Fi, Cellular, Beacon, Micro Location, video, video Calling, FaceTime, Video, Ever Cellular, Wi Fi, FaceTime, HD, 1080p. Video calling over 5G or Wi Fi. Share expenses, share expenses like movies, TV, music, and other apps, and a FaceTime call with SharePoint, screen sharing, portrait mode, and face video, spectacle, spectacle, audio, voice isolation, and wide spectrum microphone modes, optical zoom with. Rear facing camera, audio recording, um, FaceTime audio, voice over LTE, voice over LTE, so you, you, do, you do have that. Wi Fi calling, share experiences like movies, TVs, share experiences like movies, TV, music, and other apps, and a FaceTime call with SharePoint, screen sharing, spatical audio. Voice isolation and wide spectrum microphone modes, audio playback. So there's your audio formats there, video playback, audio um, video playback formats there, Siri of course. Use your voice to send messages seven miles or more. Activate hands free with only your voice using Hey Siri. Use your voice to run shortcuts from your favorite apps. External buttons and connectors. So, uh, right. so over here is your ring silent switch, volume keys. Um, right here is your speaker. Uh, you got your side button there. On the bottom of the phone is your lightning connector, built in microphone. Both in stereo speaker, power and battery, up to 22 hours of video playback, 20 hours of video playback streamed, 75 hours of audio playback. Alright, so I'm guessing for the iPhone 13, it's 22 hours of video playback, 20 hours of video playback streaming. 75 hours of audio playback, then the iPhone 13 Pro Max, 28 hours of audio, 28 hours of video playback, 25 hours of video playback stream, and 95 hours of audio playback on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Both models built in rechargeable 
lithium ion battery, max safe wireless charging up to 15 watt, Q wireless charging up to 7.5 watt, charging via USB to computer system or power adapter, fast charge capable up to 50% charge in around 30 minutes, with 20 watt adapter or higher available separately, max safe. Wireless charging up to 15 watt, magnet array, alignment, alignment magnet, accessory, identification NFC, magnet number, sensors, you guys have face ID, line dot scanner, barometer, 3 axis driver, accelerometer, proximity sensor, ambient light sensor. The iOS is running is iOS 15, of course. So iOS is the first. iOS is the world's most personal and secure mobile operating system, packed with powerful features and designed to protect your privacy. Accessibility. Built-in accessibility features like supporting vision, mobility, hearing, and kind of cannot can. Cognitive disabilities you get the most out of your iPhone helps get you most out of your iPhone. They got voice control, voice over Zoom, Magnify RTT to TTY support, Siri and dictation, type to Siri, switch control, close captions, assistive touch. Spoken content back to it. You got all these apps from Apple here. These are in, these are included in, in your iPhone. So, free apps from Apple. I guess you guys got to download these separately. Um, some card takes a dual sum. They take an another sum card or it does support eSIM. Says iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max are not compatible with existing micro SIM cards. Rating for her and age, the mail attachment system requirements, Apple ID required for some features, internet access, syncing to a Mac or PC requires Mac and West. Catalina 10.15 or later. Mac and West E. Mac OS L um, languages is it there is no uh, charging brick. In the box this year, like was with the iPhone 12 last year, it, it, there's no charging brick. Uh, Apple expects that you guys have your own charging brick, so you gotta put these in. Yeah, I've read all that. So yeah, so Apple has announced four iPhones. They announced the iPhone 13, 13 mini, 13 Pro, and 13 Pro Max. Um, I only covered the iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max in, uh, uh, in this video. Because uh, if I were to cover all four iPhones, this video would have been long as shit, and I didn't want to be sitting there for a couple hours doing a fucking video on the iPhone, but this video is already long anyway. So, yeah. Uh, so, do you guys say with the iPhone 13 series that have been announced by Apple? Pre order start on Friday the 17th. They get released next Friday, September 24th. Um,. So yeah, 
So the offense is coming to all the carriers, all prepaid and prepaid carriers. Uh, so it's made busy weekend for me next weekend. During the offering weekend, it's been busy as hell for me making videos, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And I'll have the offering videos out as soon as as soon as possible. So um, yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this long ass video, I would really greatly appreciate it if you guys liked this video. If you guys watched all the way through, thank you guys very much for watching the whole video. If you guys did, thank you. Uh, y'all yeah, yeah, guys were warned at the beginning of the video that this would be a long video, so you yeah, guys were warned at the beginning, so, <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. So, yeah, man, so Apple has announced four new iPhones, the iPhone 13 mini, iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Pro, and iPhone 13 Pro Max. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys, it will help me out a lot. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thank you very much for watching my video, and... I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.